The census is about money, power, and respect. Literally goes towards billions of dollars in federal money that goes right towards our local infrastructures, our schools, transportation, healthcare. ESL uh, programs and other immigration to support nurses and doctors and hospitals and medical facilities and medical supplies. Knowing that there is a classroom seat available for our children from pre-K through, through high school. The one thing that we know is that we need money and the census is the way to do it. In the census, we not only are distributing resources, but we're also distributing political power. And every census for the last uh, 30 years, we've been losing two congressional seats. When we lose representation, that means that we don't have someone, or we don't have that extra vote to advocate for us in Washington, D.C. We have to get beyond the conspiracy theories, all of the worries and all the concerns. The census does not keep your individually identifiable data forever. This isn't the government trying to keep track of you. This isn't the government trying to keep tabs on you. This is the government trying to find out who are we? What do we need and how can we bring those resources to our communities? You will never have to worry about the landlord finding out, about NYCHA finding out. You will not be asked about your citizenship status. This does not go to the immigration people. This does not go to ICE or the police or anybody else. There are really severe legal penalties um, for for someone who works for the Census Bureau, which is the only place where um, this information is going, um, for sharing that information. It is absolutely secure, up to a five-year penalty for any Census Bureau uh, employee who shares um, private data, up to $250,000 fine uh, for any sharing of private responses. As we're dealing with this pandemic, we can't take our eyes off of, uh, of the census count because ultimately we understand that they're both uh, directly and indirectly linked to one another. In order to overcome this, 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 this failing system, we have to be counted. This is a time for us as a people to be sophisticated about how these systems work to distribute resources and power into our communities. It's something tangible right now that you can do remotely that is going to have an impact on our communities for years to come. We can ensure uh, the quality housing that we deserve, the quality health care centers. We can all make a difference in that way. Let's invest in ourselves. We are New Yorkers. We don't let anything back us down. Don't let anybody count you out. Every single person, it does not matter what your immigration status is, it does not matter what your age, uh, you are entitled to be counted. Every single person can go online right now using any device that they have. Go to my2020census.gov. Very easy. Very accessible, phone, online, mail, what have you. 10 questions, 10 minutes determines the next 10 years. Tell the younger generation, like people like me, to say, help your family, help your parents, help your grandparents to do this for them. Before we go out and vote in November, uh, the number one thing we can do is fill out our census. Please fill out your census form. Do it right now. Our job is not done until we get to 100%.